Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to modify existing report and republish or save to report server by using a report builder. First of all, we need to open a report builder. We can go to the search and type report builder. So once we type it, it will give us any report builder we have installed on our machine. If you have not installed, you can watch my previous video where we downloaded and installed the report builder. Other way around to open the report builder is go to the report manager and in this UI you will see the report builder. If you do not know how to get to the report manager, you can go to the search and then type SQL Server reporting. So once you write SQL Server reporting, it will give you SQL Server 2014 or 2016 reporting services configuration manager. And from there, you can take a look on the reporting services URL and the report manager URL. So let's connect to the instance of report server. So one we have here and now we have web service URL. This is the report server URL that we need to connect in the report builder. And this is the report manager URL that we are connected as of now. We can see the things uh, uh, right here such as folders uh, and uh, any reports we deploy here and uh, our user can uh, preview the report. So this is the user interface uh, where we can manage the reports, publish the reports uh, and do a lot more. Now, once uh, we are here, let's say I initiate uh, the report builder from here. Uh, then it will open a report builder. I already have opened that. I don't want it to waste time. It take a little bit of time to open it uh, for me especially. And uh, now you will be making some changes. So one way to do it, you can go to the file tab and open. Now, once you open that one, it is going to show you the contents uh, such as uh, recent sites and servers. And we know that we are connected or we, we've been connected to SQL uh, server 2016 reporting services instance. We can, let's say if I'm not interested to work on this report server, so I can go back and disconnect from here. So if you see here at the bottom, we have connect and disconnect button. And one of the report server I have is 2014. So I can cancel this part and the type 2014. So I'm gonna connect with the other report server. Now, if I will go back to the file and hit new, sorry, open, I would see it is connected to the 20, uh, C, uh, report server underscore SQL 2014 and I will see all those folders which are present there. So let me show you the folders in the report manager. So this is uh, these are the uh, folders you will see in the report manager. They are, in, in, they are uh, available on a report server. Now, one thing, uh, let me open this one again. And uh, from here, we can cancel this. I would like to tell you one more thing. If you are using a SQL Server 2014 report builder, you will not see the file tab here. You will see a button, a kind of radio button or a round button here at the corner and that's where you need to click. There is no file tab. So I'm using a SQL Server report builder with this, uh, 2016 and that's why uh, I have this file tab. So now let's open it and uh, open one of the report. Uh, we can go to SSRS uh, training and open auto refresh report, open it. This is how the report is looking like. Let me take you to the report manager and show you the same report. So we have auto refresh report here. And as you can see that the title background is the uh, yellow. I, and uh, I wanna make change to this uh, title background. So let me go back to the report. And here in the report builder, we are gonna go ahead and make changes. So let's say we, uh, we, we would like to have a green. And also with the header row, change the color to the maybe uh, yellow, fine. Now this is the report. We can go ahead and run the report. If you run the report here, that does not mean the report is saved to the report server. So let's go to the report manager and take a look on our report if it is saved or not. So if you can see that still the uh, title background is yellow and uh, this one is uh, gold. So it is uh, this report has auto refresh. It is a change in the color. I have done the programming on that one. So you see that it changed in the color. But uh, what we want to do, title one is more important for us. We would like to have a green here. So it is, this, it is not same in the report as of now, but you have to come back uh, to the report builder design and then you have to hit save button. 
So that's the way you will save your report. Now, otherwise, uh, you can uh, uh, close from here. Once you close it, uh, it will ask you, okay, do you want to save the changes uh, to the report uh, and uh, publish uh, or save in the report server? Yes, uh, it will save it. No, it will close the, the report builder and uh, cancel if you will just want to be around and make more changes and then save it. So your choice, you can hit yes, it will close the report builder. So I, I am not interested to close the uh, re report builder here. I'm going to cancel and I hit save button. So save will be, let me be in this uh, area and uh, it will not uh, close the report builder, but save the report. Now, if I go back to the report manager to see the changes and uh, let's take a look. And now you can see that the title is green. So that's how it will work. Now let's go back. And one more thing. If you are in the report manager and uh, your uh, uh, report builder is not open and you would like to make changes, let's say we would like to make changes to the area report. You do not have to open a report builder. You can go to the report and uh, hit on the drop down and say edit in a report builder. If you do that, it will open that uh, report in the report builder. So we can. It is going to take a few seconds. Now you see that Microsoft SQL Server 2014 report builder as I'm connected to the reporting services 2014 in this case. So if I would be another one, this one is 2016. If I would start this report builder, it will show me SQL Server 2016. So now it's going to open that. Let's close this one. We don't need this. So it's taken a uh, few seconds uh, to open that uh, report builder also we do not need the reporting services configuration manager but this this is a really uh, nice uh, interface uh, where you can get the information where you can set the service accounts and all that uh, and uh, you can also set the email settings uh, um, for your uh, let's say you are going to use the subscription and all that uh, so you can set up uh, the email server or SMTP server here so that will be used by your subscription and all that so let's cancel this out and we are waiting for the report builder so report builder came with uh, this report as we had clicked on edit this report uh, we did the area report and it was at the edit in the report builder so it is it has opened that one and uh, we can go ahead and make changes let's say we would like to have a title sale chart sorry That's it. If you have noticed that it is already connected to the uh, SQL Server uh, Reporting Services 2014, that's report server for my name for my uh, SQL Server 2014 instance. And uh, if you will start from here, you do not have to connect in the report builder because it know that you are initiating from this uh, report server instance. So it will automatically connect to that uh, report server instance. So once you are done with the changes, uh, you can hit save. Uh, make sure before you change it, uh, save it, I, I will recommend you another way. Let me show you that uh, quickly. So in case, let's say I made this change. Fine, this time I made the change, but now I would need to make more changes. So here, let's say I would like to set the background color. So let me go to the, sorry, here, let's say we would like to have a color small, some something like this. And now instead of saving, I will go to the this uh, button here or if I'm in, in a SQL Server uh, 2016 report server, I will go to the file tab and then save as. So once I hit save, save as, I would save this report auto refresh underscore new in the report server, save it. Now the report will be saved. It is taken a little bit. Uh, my computer is really slow. I didn't like that part, but let's go to the report manager interface i'm waiting for the report to be published here and saved here once it will be saved what i would like to do i would like to take a look on that report if my users like that report everything looks good then i can go ahead and delete this report and rename that one to the auto refresh so there are multiple ways i can do the things so let me go back it's still saying it is loading i don't know what exactly it is trying to load uh, it's just my computer so I'm going to wait another five seconds, otherwise uh, we are going to finish this video. Because see, the only thing what I'm trying to tell you, okay, you save the report as a new or some, something else and uh, 
uh, preview your report uh, on the report uh, manager side and if everything looks good yeah why not then from here let's say we came here now let's refresh the list and uh, now we see that uh, let's go with the modified date and uh, you see at the end now we'll preview the report these are different techniques that you can think of any whichever works best for you so now you see the color is changed I'm gonna go back and say okay this looks good to me I'm going to delete the auto refresh report so I can delete here and then you will be going to the area and the area report just click on that report manage And then here you will rename just remove that underscore new apply in this case uh, you might have to if you have set uh, the uh, security for each of the report uh, like permissions and all that you have to uh, maybe you have to come back here and uh, provide those permission for that report but if your permission are done on the folder level and that's what I recommend so in that case you do not have to do anything so you will even rename this report still it will use the uh, permissions uh, whatever we have on the parent folder and that's how it will be done so now we we have deployed safely we have previewed it and then after that we have just deleted the old one and have it the new one so just ma to make sure so it is going to apply the changes in my case is a little slow so i will see you guys in next video